In this video tutorial, let's learn about designated initializers in C. So I'll take a array variable a of 5 and give it an initial value 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. I think let me increase the size of this array to 8. 5 is very small. Designated arrays are applicable in large arrays. Okay, so let me q 0 0 0 and 8 so that's 0 to 7 which is which are 8 elements so let me print that out i'll i'll initialize i to 0 so iterate this for loop until i is less than or equal to n minus 1 which is 7 if you are entering n minus 1 then make sure to have i is less than or equal to or else remove this equal and make it less than 8 because less than 8 means n minus 1 which is 7 itself okay so let me print out the values that is elements of this array by using a of i so i varies from 0 to 7 so let me run this and here we have it at a of 3 we have 1 at a of 7 we have 8 and all other spots are filled with zeros so that's what we need to accomplish using designated initializers but before that without using designated initializers how would you do that so let me put that here and comment it out so let me remove this so we already know the index of it so a of 3 0 1 2 and 3 so a of 3 should be 1 right so what's the last index of an any array n minus 1 so 8 minus 1 is 7 so a of 7 should be 8 so what happens let me compile and run this for you so i guess all the other spots will be filled with garbage values but a of 3 is 1 a of 7 is 8 we have solved half of it half of our problem right so to solve the other half so before that let me comment these two lines of core code so all the spots will be filled with garbage values right but if we assign this flower bracket don't assign any values just have this flower brackets then all the spots will be filled with zeros that's right so now remove these comments that means a of 3 which will which has 0 will be overwritten by the value 1 a of 7 which has 0 will be overwritten by value 8 so that fixes our issue without using designated initializers by the way okay but designation designated initializers are are useful when we have a huge large array okay so in that case you can't go on writing a of 3 a of 7 like that um, which would make this program very lengthy to accomplish that task in a single line we use designated initializers so let me remove these two lines of code and inside this curly braces itself we know the index so inside square bracket write the index is equal to the value which is 1 comma so the index is 8 sorry 7 n minus 1 is 7 and the value is 8 so where the heck this m come from so comma let me compile and run this for you and here we have it 1 and a of 7 is 8 so another way is you could remove this equal sign so this is another syntax and it works the same way again a of 3 is 1 a of 7 is 8 so both syntax you could use and one more thing the order doesn't matter here you could write 7 that is a of 7 of, of 8 first and after that assign value of 1 to 3 and it works the same so what if we have we are not mentioning the size of an array in that case uh, if we don't mention the length of an array explicitly the compiler will assign the length of an array from the largest largest designator in the list in this case it's 7 0 to 7 means 8 so 8 will be the size of the array here I am entering one more element e of 10 is equal to 5 
that means this array size is 11 not 10 don't get confused here most people get confused here so if you enter 10 here it will be wrong it will give wrong result so where is 5 at the end it's only printing from 0 to 9 by the way 0 to yeah 0 to 9 so it is giving wrong result the last value that last index value is value is not shown here so make sure it's less than or equal to 0 to 10 means 11 now it works so the last element is 5 okay so the index array array size is 11 not 10 because the last index is always n minus 1 to prove my point if you have a of 10 it will throw error that is excess elements in array initializer okay make it 11 and it works because the largest index is 10 which means the size of the array minus 1 so the size of the array is 11 and the largest index here is 10 11 minus 1 which is 10 hope you get it so one more thing the range initializing in the range so 1 to 5 assign 2 to it okay three dots in between 1 and 5 these are the index starting from 1 and end it with 5 all these indexes 1 to 5 should have 2 as value okay and now 6 to 8 6 3 dots and 8 a of 6 a of 7 a of 8 will have 3 okay let me compile and show it to you so a of 0 is 0 a of 1 to a of 5 has 2 so a of 6 3 and the last index which we are not initializing is filled with zeros so that's how we could use range so even you could skip this equal sign syntax equal sign syntax or combine it it still works the same way okay so you have it e of 6 7 and 8 has 3 okay so that's it that's how we make use of designated initializers in C programming language thanks for watching please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic and please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog and please share this video with your friends on WhatsApp, Telegram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.